Now this brother is an educator, a poet, a writer. There is nothing he cannot do. Mr. David Perez. Fearing that I would lose my roots, my grandma brought me to a quinceanera. Now, this was just one of many insurrections to make sure that I did not bleach under an American sun. I remember Sunday Mass and its three-hour ceremony held completely in Spanish at the Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Guilt. I went to places whose rituals were as strange to me as their language was foreign. Dia de los Muertos, Cinco de Mayo parades, banda shows. If you don't know, banda is a form of music. Came out in the 30s when Mexicans began mingling with German Americans in Texas, creating a fusion between mariachi and polka. <laughs> Together at last. <laughs> But my grandma taught me the steps, told me that dance is the language of the soul. Tienes que permanecer mexicano, hijo, she'd say. This will help me remain Mexican. As if being Mexican were like reeling in a fish. Not something that you are, but something on the end of a line pulled so taut it cuts. And if you let go, you never see the damn thing again. Now for a while, my broken Spanish and my olive complexion sufficed. Didn't matter that I had Tarzan's vocabulary and my mother's slanted eyes. At least, I wasn't white. I slid by. Until one day, at age 17, when my grandma found the Playboy in my suitcase. <laughs> Translation, when a Mexican grandmother finds your porn and says, Ay, Dios de mi vida, por Dios santo! <laughs> It means... Things are going to be different from now on. From then on, it wasn't enough that we went to Sunday Mass. After the ceremony, my grandma would try to hook me up with every girl old enough to have a learner's permit. <laughs> Remaining Mexican became something less like reeling in a fish and something more like finding me an anchor. And so a week later, we were on our way to a quinceanera. And if you don't know, a quinceanera is a young lady's coming-of-age ceremony. Its origins can be traced to the Aztec ritual marking 15, as the age a girl became apt for motherhood. They would light incense and dance in procession, but when the Spaniards came, the Aztec temple became a church, and the dance became a waltz, together at last. Inside, enough white streamers hang from the ceiling to bend the rafters, and the smell. The smell of enchilada sauce and mole thickens the air like incense at Sunday Mass. One, two, three, one, two, three. I practice my steps while my grandma goes to work because she has got this speed date dialed in for me, sitting me next to Consuelo, Juanita, Lourdes, Blanca, Orinella, and Liz. <laughs> and it does not help that my uncles keep slipping me shots of Cuervo and play drinking games based on my performance. <laughs> And I don't know. I don't know if it's the booze or the pressure or the way the pink chiffon drapes from her shoulders, but when Dios Alina smiles, I kiss her, long and firm but gentle. And when I'm finished, she looks at me and screams. <laughs> Translation, when a girl at a quinceanera says, ah! it means things are going to be different from now on. Her cousins grab me, they drag me outside, throw me against a pink limousine, coil their fists, cock them back, and hold. They watch me squirm. They listen to me plea in my Tarzan Spanish. I no try to make with her. I no try. I sorry. They let me go. Translation. Pinche gringo means your heritage is something on the end of a line you let go of because it cuts you back inside. 
Everyone's too drunk to remember what happened. I take my place on the dance floor. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is the way I remain Mexican. The boys make a circle, and the girls dance from one of us to the next, to the next. And then the birthday girl enters, sweeping across the floor. I don't even know her name, but soon I'm dancing with her. And I, I just look at her shoes. Their open toes make her feet look like two caught fish. <laughs> After tonight, I will never see her again. I twirl her and she gasps. Wow, she says, you're like the best dancer here. I look up, our eyes meet together at last. <laughs>